Hi, it's Lavon. Welcome back to my channel and to Step by Step. Today we're going to be doing part two of the dresser to bench transformation. Today's the fun part. We're going to be painting with lots of bright colors and blending them together. So I already started this piece with Plum Crazy on the bottom and now I'm adding some Peony. So these colors are very close in tone so it'll be relatively easy to blend them together. But we're using a separate brush for each color. Really close to the color in my shirt, wouldn't you say? I'm using Dixie Belle's Premium Chip Brush. And right now this is the first coat, so I'm just laying on the paint and I'm painting right over that hardware. We replaced the hardware that was on the dresser. It was kind of a plastic, kind of very simplistic knob. So I'm trying to decide exactly where I want the colors to go in the first coat. The first coat is sort of like a road map for your colors, so the coverage isn't that important. What is important is that both of your colors are wet when you start to blend. So as I mentioned, you want a color, uh, a brush for each color, and then you'll use a neutral brush, a very soft brush with a very light touch, and I like to use a Mr. Bottle as well. I was doing this clip for another video, so that's why I'm talking to the camera but we actually forgot to record it, so yeah, so there's that. <laughs> You'll have this from time to time. So you can use different types of strokes, feathery strokes, diagonal, horizontal, vertical, whatever, um, to soften that line. You just want to use such a light touch. And then that color, that line will go away. So now we are painting with some soft pink into the peony. And again, these colors are all in the same family, so they're going to be real easy to blend together. It's when you go to a different uh, color that that's when it's a little bit more challenging to blend. Blending used to intimidate me, but it doesn't any longer. The more you do it, the more you'll be good at it and enjoy doing it. You'll figure out a few tricks, and the biggest one is knowing when to walk away. That's what most of the people in my classes say after they either in their class or when they go home and try it. They just have to know when to walk away and that's difficult. I love soft pink. I always imagine I'm smelling strawberries when I'm using it. So again, I'm misting my brush and I'm misting the line. Some people don't uh, do that. Some people blend when the paint is dry and the, the brush is dry. Not the paint. The paint sort of has to be wet, but the, the brush being dry. I prefer uh, to use a little bit of wet. Um, it depends on, sometimes I don't even like to use, um, to, to miss the furniture, I just like to miss the brush. It all depends. But you can see that line is starting to diminish. 
It's a little easier to see on uh, this transition. You just want to work the line until the line disappears. And I think we've achieved that. And then you can come back in as I did there with your color if you want to add some more to it. Okay, so the painting, the blending is all done. I went up into a green and now I'm using some brown wax. Normally, I tell you to use clear wax first and then add the brown wax. On this piece, because it's kind of rustic, just adding the brown wax right on it kind of toning down the sherbet effect and I like to wax the hardware as well you see how I painted the planks up on top of the bench the two by fours that make up the seat just want to work that wax in there and just use your paper towel or a rag and just move that wax around until you're happy with the way it looks. Pay close attention to the corners of the drawers and also the hardware. I just love the colors in this piece. So now I'm applying some transfers to the top. These are Redesign with Prima transfers. I forget what the name of this uh, particular transfer is, but I love these gigantic flowers. They pack such a punch. And we've talked about transfers before, but they're so easy to apply. Especially these because you're just applying one flower at a time as opposed to a great big transfer. Okay, so I just start to peel back the transfer. And if some part of it doesn't come off, you just lay it back down and rub it some more. This was such a fun set of furniture to do. I did the table and chair first and my customer bought it and then she was looking for a bench. I showed her my uh, dresser transformation and she loved the idea so it was uh, sold before I even got a chance to put it on the floor and then she brought a table to me uh, to paint so four pieces um, I used a little sandpaper to uh, distress the transfer a little bit and now I'm going back over it with wax That really helps protect the transfer and also just blends it in with the furniture piece. If you are interested in Dixie Belle products, the link is in my description box. And just finishing up that side piece to make it uh, blend in with everything and wax in the top. big wax brush, which is actually a large stencil brush, 
really does the job and let you do it quickly. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video today and I would love it if you comment let me know what you think about the transformation and also the paint job and if you haven't subscribed to the channel I hope you'll consider doing so Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll visit us on LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor, and on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.